The next one we're going to be making is an object return script. Instantly returns. That is so perfect. One, two, and three, and it should come right back. Let's bring out a new script gizmo. All right, so on this object return script, we do need when world is started. And what is gonna happen? Well, we're gonna create two new variables. This is gonna represent the vector positions. So this will be called our origin position. I've abbreviated it to make it easier to type. And then we'll do the same thing for our rotation, and we'll call this one origin rotation. Awesome. And then at the world start, we're going to use set two to set these values. And so we'll head on over here and bring over the origin position and the origin rotation. Head down to our operators tab, scroll down to object where we can get position of object for the right side. So that's the value we're going to set the variable to. And then what is the object that we're saving the position and rotation from? Well, that's self, which can be found on the values tab. So we'll go ahead and fill that out. Wonderful. So when world is started, we have saved the origin position and the origin rotation. Now, when do we want to move it back? Well, let's create a Boolean switch because there's two different instances. So we'll create a Boolean variable, and this is going to be called instant. So an instant is true, which will start it as a default of true. So if instant is true, it's going to instantly return back to its origin position. Back on events, if we scroll down, we know that when the object is released by the player, so here we have grab events, when object is released by player, this is when we want to return it back to this position. So if it's instant motion, we'll use an if statement to check that, and then we'll go back to our variables tab, grab the boolean, drop that in here. So this says if instant is true, we want to move to position and move to rotation. So we'll go ahead and to do this, let's actually create a different event. This will be when event is received, just to save us some capacity. And we'll call this the return event, return. And then all we have to do is if instant send event return. So send event to object called return. Perfect. So if instant is true, we send return to self. And then when return is received, we'll create that return in just a second. The alternate case though is the else. And so if instant is not true, that is going to be a delayed return. And so what we can do is send return with delay. So if we come over here, we can send event with delay and drop that into our else statement. And we'll go ahead and grab return from here. And our delay is gonna be a number variable. So we'll create a new variable number called delay. This allows you to create a variable delay. We're gonna start this with a default of 30 seconds. And that way you can always set it to be shorter or longer. We'll drop that in here to the number variable to replace the one. And now it says send return to self with a delay seconds. But this does create an issue if the player is constantly picking up and dropping the object because it'll send return over and over and over again. We'll grab cancel sending with delay, which we can place right above return. And then we'll change the drop down to also be return. And now we cancel sending return and then we send return. So that way there's only one of these events going off at any time. And then when return is received, we can move back to position. But what if the object is picked up and not let go again within that 30 seconds? Well, we need to consider that event as well, which is when object is grabbed by player. So if the object is grabbed by the player, we also need to cancel sending return to self. There we go. So if the object is picked up, cancel sending return, which therefore means that object being released shouldn't be happening multiple times. I think it's safe to keep this in here because we really don't want this to happen multiple times. And this is just kind of a safety check. When return is received, what are we going to do? Well, under our motion tab, we have instant motion move to and rotate to. We're going to put these down here. We are affecting self, so that's perfect. Back on our variables tab, we can grab the origin position vector to replace that vector and the origin rotation to replace that rotation. Voila! If your object is a non-physics object, this works. But if you do have a physics object, we need to do one more step, which is under motion. We're going to disable object physical motion and then re-enable object physical motion at the end. And just to be extra, extra careful, we'll also use stop physical motion at the very beginning of this. So theoretically, this will have zero motion. And uh, we'll put that actually at the end. Let's go ahead and give it a go and see if it works. A shape object ball. And this one, we're going to attach the object return script. We're going to make it interactive and grabbable. So this one will be instant. And then let's duplicate it and create one that's got a delay. And then for our delay, let's change the delay to be three seconds. So it's just a little bit faster. And then turn instant off. 
and make this one also have physics. Use custom gravity, no, physics material. Definitely want it to be a super ball. <laughs> All right, so we've got that created. And then just for funsies, let's give them some color. So we'll make this one blue and this one a lesser blue. And then we're going to set these into position, scale them up a little bit, and then slide them over this way and down this way. Pretty happy with that. And then we can hit stop, reset, and play, which allows us to restart the world. So the win world is started event goes off, setting their origin position. So now we can grab this ball. And when I let go, it instantly returns. Look at that. Beautiful. So you can imagine if you made an object that you wanted players to eat, you could have them eat it and then it instantly returns. It looks like it's just regenerative food. Super cool there. Now our delay here, if we drop it, two, three, and look at that. Oh, that's perfect. That is so perfect. One, two, and three, and it should come right back. And now we're just gonna chuck it, just make sure this thing really does stop. And it does, oh, brilliant. And that is our object return script, you guys. Beautiful. These are rotating in opposite directions. That's kind of funny. But with our physics object we've got here, we can throw it and, uh, well, in three seconds it should return. Oh, I had it set to 30 by default. Oh, wait, wait. Hey, look at that. And it instantly returns after three seconds. We can chuck this one. This one instantly returns. That's the benefit of no physics is you don't really need to worry about physics. So when you delay, boom, 